In this video, I am going to show you how to get information from SQLite database and how to display the information in a list view. This is the continuation of a previous video. I recommend you need to watch the previous video first. You will get the information about how to insert information into the SQLite database from the previous video. You will get the link from here. So now we are going to get information from SQLite database and display the information in a list view. So here we have to display information like product ID, product name, quantity and price. So we need a list view with some custom layout and custom adapter. Also here we retrieve information from SQLite database using a nothing task because sometimes the database operations may be long running process. So you have to use a separate thread for the database operations that is better. So now we are going to get information from the SQLite database and display it in a list view. So here the list view is a, the list view have some custom layout and custom adapter. So first we need to create a custom layout for the list view. So right click the layout folder and create a new layout resource file. And I name it as display product row. And the, here the root element is relative layout and click OK. Now we have a new layout. We have to change the background color first. So copy the Android background attribute and put it here. And paste it here. Now I'm going to change the height of this layout. I'm going to change the height into 75 dB. Now we have to add four text views. So here I'm going to add the first text view. Specify height and width. Layout height into match parent. Specify width. I specify the width as 70 dp. Now specify some id for the text view. I name it as TID. Now align this one at the left side of the parent. So align parent left into true. Put some text for the text view. It represents some ID. So put some demo ID. So here it is. Now we have to align the text at the center. So use the gravity attribute and specify that one as center. Now we have to make the text a large one. So text appearance. And draw it text appearance large. Okay. Now we need a second text view. So copy this one and put it here. Change the ID into name and change the width into 150 dp and put some put some name mobile. No need of this one and align this one at the right of the first text view. The ID of the first text view is TID. So now we have the second text view. Now we need another text view here. Copy this one and put it here. First change the width into 70 dp. Now change the ID into price and align at the right side of T name and put some value here specify the value as 5000 and gravity center 
okay and one more text view is needed specify the width of 70 dp and change the it into quantity and align this one at the right side of the price and put some price here 500 okay now we have a custom layout for the list view okay now we have to create a new activity so right click the application and create a new activity and create an empty activity specify an activity name display product and change the layout name into display product layout and click finish now here is the new activity is created go to the layout file display product layout first we have to change the background color copy the background color and put it here now we need a list view here so add a list view specify the layout width and height specify the height as match parent now specify the width that is also match parent now specify an ID for the list view name it as display list view ok so now we have to start the start this newly created activity so go to the activity main.xml file so whenever user click the view products button we have to display the newly created activity so go to the xml file of the activity main.xml file so here is the last button so we have to add an on click method for the button and throw it on click name it as display products and copy this method now go to the main activity.java file and specify that method define that method public void method name is display products now start the activity don't forget to add the view argument here now start the activity newly created activity start activity new intent specify context now specify the class name here the class name is display product dot class this will start the newly created activity so I close all these files now open up the display product from this class from this method from the on create method of this activity we have to call the async task so here the async task class name is background task so background task equal to new background task and pass the activity context this now we have to execute the async task so background task dot execute and pass some string from here get info now we have to do something on the background task so go to the background task and here is the data insertion operation so if the method name is add info that is a data insertion and if the method name is get info that is that is the data retrieval so we have to add an else if part else if method dot equals 
if it is equal to get info in that case we have to get information from the database so before going to that we have to add the appropriate methods on the db operations so open up the db operations and here you need to add a new method for retrieve information from the database so add a new method public here the return type is a cursor get informations and this method need one argument that is the that is an object of sqlite database sqlite db uh, first simply return null from here okay first we have to specify the projections that means the column names so add a string array projections equal to specify the column names we get the column names from the contract class here the contract class name is product contract so product contract dot product entry first column is id second column is name product entry dot name third column is price product entry dot price and the last one is quantity product entry dot quantity now we have to get information from the database the information is get in the form of a cursor object so we have to create a cursor object here and use the SQLite database argument db dot query first you have to specify the table name we get the table name from the contract class so product entry dot table name second you need to specify the projections and there is another five attributes you need to pass null for the five attributes put a semicolon here okay and finally return the cursor object we return the cursor so this is the method that will return information from the database now go to the background task dot java so if the method equal to get info we have to retrieve information from the database and display the information in a list view so from here we have to get information so we need an object of database operations and sqlite database so here i already create an object of db operations so here we need only an object of sqlite database specify that one as db equal to uh, db operations dot get readable database now we have to call that method using the db operations object db operations dot get informations and pass the sqlite database object and save this informations in a cursor object okay now we have to get each row from the cursor and display that informations in a list view we have to add these informations into the list view so we need a separate adapter for add informations into the list view so create a new class and specify the class name as product now create some variable here private string id name now create some other variable int price and quantity now we have to add some getter and setter method for all these variables add getter and setter methods select all these variables and click ok now here we add the getter and setter method for all these variables now we need a constructor for this class so public product 
and we need some argument for this constructor string id string name int price and final one is int quantity now we have to call the setter methods from this constructor so this dot set id and pass id now this dot set name and pass the name argument now price set price and finally quantity this dot set quantity okay now we have to create an adapter class so right click the package and create a new java class and name it as product adapter and click ok and extends using array adapter here we need some constructor add some appropriate constructor add the constructor with the context and some resource id and click ok now here we need some override methods first one is and uh, second one is get count method third one is get item and the last one is get view method so here I'm going to declare some variables it, it is a list name it as a list equal to new array list so inside the add method here I remove the override annotation and change the object into the product class here we pass an object of product class now I am going to add each of that object into the list so list dot add add the object okay now go to the background task dot java Now we have to get each of the row from the cursor and we have to pass these informations as an object into the product class. So for that add a while loop here. Uh, before we need some variables here, declare some variables int it name string id name now specify some integer integer price and quantity now start some while loop while cursor dot move to next if there is a row is available on the cursor this loop will execute now we have to get informations from the cursor so first one is id id equal to cursor dot get string cursor dot get column index and get the column name from the from the contract class product entry dot first one is id now copy this statement second one is name and the column name is name now we have to get some integer price is an integer so cursor dot get int cursor dot get column index product contract dot product entry dot price now copy this statement and the last one is quantity and here the id is quantity column name is quantity okay now we have to add all these informations into the product class so we have to create an object of product class here and name it as product equal to new product now we have to pass the arguments for the constructor first one is id 
name uh, price and last one is quantity so we add each row as an object into the product class now finally here I call the published progress method and I pass the product class object so here the publish argument is an object of product so we have to change the generic type of the async task instead of void here we have to specify that one as product now go to the on progress update method here instead of void that is an object of product class no need of the super so from the on progress update method I'm going to add each of the object product class, product class object into the add method inside the adapter class here the adapter class name is product adapter so first we have to create an object of product adapter so here declare some variables for product adapter product adapter and inside the else if part here I initialize that object product adapter equal to new product adapter and this can this one need two argument first one is a context and second one is the layout resource ID so first one is here I pass context CTX now we have to specify the layout that that means the custom layout for the list view so r dot layout dot here the list view custom layout file name is display product row okay now using this object from the on progress update method we have to call the add method so product adapter dot add and pass the object values of zero okay and finally from this doing background method that means from the else if part we return some string from here return and get info so now we set up the custom layout and custom adapter for the list view now we have to initialize a list view and we have to set the adapter for the list view so here we put the list view in an activity so now we are going to handle the list view outside of that activity actually we put the list view inside the product display product activity but here we are going to handle that list view outside of this class so we need an object of activity here so create some variables for activity let me just activity and initialize that object here activity equal to context ctx and typecast this one into activity we need an object of activity here because we are going to handle a view component from an activity that's why we need an object of activity here okay and here I'm going to create an object of list view name it as a list view now inside the else part I'm going to initialize that list view so list view equal to use the activity object dot find view by id r dot id dot display list view and typecast this one into list view okay so inside the on progress update we add each of the object into the product adapter and finally we return some string from the doing background method so that string will available on the on post execute method so here we add some if loop if our result dot equals that particular string get info that is written from here in that case we set the adapter for the list view so list view dot set adapter 
and the adapter name is product adapter else that means that is a data insertion it will display this toast okay now go to the adapter class we have to add some code on the product adapter go to the product adapter class from the get count method return the size of the list return list dot size from the get item method we have to return each object from the list list dot get and position and here we need some static class add some static class static class uh, product holder and define some text view variables here I name it as TX ID TX name TX price and the last one is TX quantity okay now inside the get view method first create an object of view specify that one as raw equal to convert view first we have to check whether the row is available or not if if the row is not available we have to create the row so if row equal to null in that case we need to create the row and we need a variable of product holder here so we need an object of layout inflator layout inflator equal to this dot get to context dot get system service context dot layout inflator service now type cast this one into layout inflator okay now create the row row equal to layout inflator dot inflate r dot layout dot and here the layout file name is display product row display product row and put some and, and second argument is parent and final one is false okay now we go the row now we have to initialize the product holder so product holder equal to new product holder now initialize the variables from the product holder so product holder dot tx it equal to raw dot find the view by id r dot id dot tid typecast this one into text to view copy this statement second one is tx name here the id is t name now tx price and here the id is t price and final one is quantity t quantity equal to and here the id is t quantity and finally set tag for the row uh, row for set tag and pass the product holder object so we create the row else that means the row is already available we have to initialize the product holder product holder dot product holder equal to row dot get tag 
and typecast this one into product holder. Okay, now we have to assign data for the text views. For that, we have to create an object of product, uh, name it as product equal to call the get item method and pass position. Typecast this one into product. Now we have to assign data for the text to view. So product holder dot txid dot set to text product dot call the get method. First one is get id and typecast this one into string. Copy this statement. Second one is TX name and here it is get name. The getter method is get name. Now price and quantity product holder dot TX price dot set text. Now we have to convert that one into integer. So integer dot to string product dot get price. Now copy this statement and the last one is quantity tx dot quantity and here it is get quantity. Okay and finally we have to return the row from here return row I hope I finished the coding now we can test the application on a virtual device ok now the application available on a virtual device there is already some data is available on the SQLite database but here I am going to add some other products add some product with some product ID 75k with the product name camera uh, specify some product quantity 450 and specify some product price 7000 and click save one row is inserted add one more product product is LCD uh, sorry here the product ID product ID is 19 yes and product name is LCD and product quantity is 500 and product price is 8000 and click save now another row is inserted okay now we can check the database using SQLite browser so open the database now I save the database in my desktop here is the database open it now browse data and specify the table name here is the last added columns camera and LCD so these are the information now available on the SQLite database now we are going to retrieve information from the database so click the view products this will display the list view that contain the information this is the last added columns camera and LCD I hope you understand the concepts thank you for watching see you in the next episode